Hey guys, Nikki here, and we got a dedicated video on this bum curly unit from West Kiss Hair. So let's get straight into it. Okay, guys, here's the West Kiss box. You have a cute kiss on the box and it is full of goodies so let's hop straight into it there's an edge comb slash brush there are hd wig caps in here it comes with two of them you will also get this mirror that says west kiss hair and i love how everything has kisses on it being that it is west kiss hair so there's a bonnet in here you will also get a bag to store your wig in if you don't want to keep the box also a edge band to tie your hair down with so let's get straight into it this is hd lace 180 percent density my cap is small this is 13 by 4 and 22 inches this is another one of those easy peasy wigs the only thing that's different is the lace is not cut off already the knots are bleached the lace is perfect you got two combs on the side one at the back with an adjustable strap and there's also a strap in here to wear it glueless so really you don't have to do anything it's pre-plugged the knots are pre-bleached so let's get into the install so we're going to start by using my foundation so i can tint the inside of the hair so when i take pictures with flash and etc it won't have a white flashback and i'm just doing that with a big fluffy brush and make sure i'm blending it in good i am trying the wig on right now just to see how it's gonna fit how much i need to cut off how big it is this is a small wig but i still always have to cut so much off i don't know maybe my head just little so i always start by pinning the hair up or back so i can work with the front and make sure that the lace is laid as good as possible so i'm going to take that clip out that's hanging because sometimes they give me a headache and if i'm not going to wear a glueless it's point pointless to keep it in so yeah i'm just going to get my white liner and mark where i need to cut off and we're going to just go ahead and cut those ear tabs off this is the easiest way to do it to me i used to turn the wig inside out but this is the easiest way to do it for me because when i did it like that it made the it was just it's hard for me to explain so this is just the easiest way for me to do it so just get those ear tabs off so that you can adhere the wig to your head properly and there's not a lot of extra lace hanging over your ears and etc child we don't need that <laughs> so this is my first time working with west kiss hair and i absolutely love this wig guys i really really do it is so minimal i was able to install this wig so easy as you guys can see and i absolutely love it so i just took the wax stick and i'm just going to take my bristle brush and brush all of the flyaways and etc out of the way so i can install the wig so i am going to go in with the got to be glue gel this is gel not glue and i'm going to put this on and i'm going to blow dry it and get it real tacky so this could act as my adhesive or my glue and that's what i'm doing right here i always say blow dry but guys this is just a regular fan and that's what you want right there before you put the lace back down. I just use that regular fan because if I'm going to blow dry it, I'm going to put it on the cool setting anyway. So I might as well use that little fan and don't make a whole bunch of noise and etc. So I'm just brushing this out the way and brushing the wig down into the gel. And then I'm going to dry it again. So I'm going to put the edge band on so that it can go ahead and adhere to my head and make sure it's good and stuck so it won't move and let's move into this even spray this is what i use to actually melt the lace into my scalp i love this spray oh my gosh i don't know who invented this spray oh even but yeah mm -hmm, i love it <laughs> and if you guys were ever wondering i don't really see a difference in the different color bottles but you guys know i got this one because it's purple <laughs> so i'm gonna blow dry that again and after that we're just gonna put our edge band right back down so this can go ahead and stick to our head really really good look at that lace guys look at the plucking everything is good but i did see a little spot that i wanted to fill in i used a little bit too much of my mascara so i'm going to go in with my fingers i'm going to go in with an edge brush and try to brush some of that out because i did not know it was going to come out that much and that dark but i just needed to 
um, go over that little spot that it looked like someone over plucked just a little bit. That's just my opinion. So we're going to cut the lace right here. I always do it in sections. It's just easier for me than doing one big cut straight across. Remember, don't ever cut your lace like straight across. Do like a zigzag motion so it'll look a little bit more natural. We want our wigs to look as natural as possible. And so I'm going to take the even spray once again and make sure that the lace is melted. So I'm gonna do this in sections so that it will dry as I move to the other section so I can move on with the rest of the styling. So let's just go ahead and cut this other part off over here. Now that we have all of the lace off, let's go ahead and give it one last blow dry or dry. I just have to make sure that this is dry because when you remove those edge bands, if your hair isn't dry prior, it will leave like this tacky, wet, oh, it's just a mess. So always make sure it's dry. Take your foundation and go back in over the lace once again so you can have a seamless blend between the wig and your forehead. Let's go ahead and take this down. Ooh so beautiful guys i love it so let's talk about wet kits a little bit more while we go ahead and blend this down flatten it and wet it they have all different type of wigs over here if this is not your cup of tea just browse around i do have a discount code that you can use over there on the website below the video will be everything you need to know about the company about the um specs on this wig and the discount code I absolutely love, let me tell you guys, when I get a wig and it's this easy to put on because that used to be my biggest pet peeve back in the day. Like I would see these beautiful pictures on websites or I would see these other influencers in these wigs and then I would get them and they wouldn't look nothing like that because they had been manipulated so much by the owner that I couldn't do what I saw on the website. So I absolutely love that these wigs are coming how they look on the website now as far as the knots and the plucking and etc. I just really love that. And if you pay a lot of money for your wigs, you want to make sure that they're going to come looking how they look on the site, right? So I will say that West Kiss held up to that. I have no complaints out of this hair. It had a good smell to it and everything. It blended well. It's wetting well. Look at this freaking curl pattern. Oh my gosh. And this is just with water and a little bit of Nairobi mousse moose <laughs> so like i said i will leave everything about this company below i give them a 10 out of 10 honey make sure you check them out and i'll see y'all in my next video